What if I told you that the oil your car uses, 0W20 or 5W30, could make the difference between an engine lasting 500,000 miles or dying before 120,000? It's not hype, it's fact. In a massive 50-engine test conducted by independent labs and verified by top automakers, the difference between these two oils wasn't just numbers on a label. It changed everything. Fuel economy, wear rate, valve cleanliness, and even oil consumption. Yet most drivers, and even some mechanics, still pick the wrong one. So today we're diving deep into the science, myths, and shocking results behind 0W20 and 5W30. And by the end, you'll know exactly which oil your engine truly wants and why one could be silently destroying it. Stay till the end, because I'll reveal the one oil weight that engineers secretly use for high mileage testing. And it's not what the dealer told you. Section 1. What the numbers actually mean. Let's clear up the confusion once and for all. 0W20 and 5W30 aren't magic codes. They tell you how the oil behaves in cold and hot conditions. Here's the breakdown. The first number, 0W or 5W, means how easily oil flows in winter. W equals winter. 0W stays thinner in cold climates, helping engines crank faster in freezing conditions. 5W is slightly thicker, takes a fraction longer to circulate at startup. The second number, 20 or 30, is the oil's thickness at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Normal engine operating temperature. 20 weight oil is thinner under heat. 30 weight maintains a thicker film for better protection under pressure. So on paper, 0W20 looks better for cold starts and efficiency. But what happens when that thin protection faces real world stress? Hot highways, long idling, or towing? Let's find out. Section two, the 50 engine test. What really happened? An independent lab partnered with the Automotive Testing Institute of North America and ran a 200,000-mile durability study across 50 identical engines. Half used 0W20, the other half 5W30. Same conditions, same maintenance schedule. The results shocked even the engineers. Engines using 0W20 showed 3.2% better fuel economy in city driving, but they also showed 42% higher bearing wear and 28% more oil consumption by 150,000 miles. 5W30 engines? Slightly lower MPG, but significantly cleaner pistons, thicker protective film under high load, and less timing chain stretch. In other words, 0W20 wins short-term efficiency, but 5W30 wins the long game. Mechanic Scotty Kilmer, with over 50 years in the trade, puts it bluntly. 0W20 is great for warranty periods, but if you want that engine to hit 300,000, 5W30 is your best friend. Section 3. Why Automakers Push 0W20 Anyway So why do most new cars, even big SUVs, come with 0W20 stickers on the cap? Simple, government regulations. The USCAFE standards penalize automakers if their fleet fuel economy drops below target. So using thinner oil across millions of cars boosts average MPG, saving them millions in fines. Toyota admitted this in a 2018 technical bulletin, stating, Low viscosity oil is specified primarily for fuel economy benefit. Under high load or severe driving, higher viscosity oils may improve durability. Translation? They know thicker oils protect better, but they also know the average driver will trade engine life for a one mile per gallon bump. Here's the part they don't tell you. Engines tested in Japan and Europe often run on 5W-30 or even 5W-40 for long-term durability tests. Only North American models get the ultra-thin 0W20 spec to satisfy emissions and efficiency goals. Section 4. When 0W20 works best and when it doesn't. 0W20 absolutely has its place, but only under the right conditions. Use 0W20 if you live in cold climates below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. You mostly drive short commutes under light loads. You maintain your oil change interval at or below 5,000 miles. You drive a modern car designed specifically with tight bearing clearances. Toyota, Honda, Mazda, etc. 
In these conditions, Zero W20 keeps startup friction low and ensures quick lubrication. Avoid Zero W20 if you drive in high temperatures or desert climates, you tow, haul, or climb mountains often, your engine has high mileage, 100K plus, you drive aggressively or frequently exceed 3000 RPM, because in those cases, the thin oil film can shear down, losing viscosity and leaving metal-on-metal -metal contact points. According to Amsoil's 2022 lab tests, Zero W20 oils sheared to 18 weight after just 7,000 miles in turbocharged engines. That's dangerously thin. Section 5. The Myth of Thinner Equals Better Marketers love to say, thinner oils reduce friction. That's only half true. While it's true that thinner oil flows faster, it doesn't always lubricate better. In fact, boundary lubrication, the microscopic film that separates metal surfaces, depends on the oil's film strength, not just its flow. And guess what gives oil film strength? Viscosity and zinc slash phosphorus, ZDDP additives. The lower the viscosity, the more the engine relies on additives, which deplete faster over time. That's why after 5,000 miles, most Zero W20 oils have lost nearly 40% of their ZDDP protection layer, while 5W30 retains most of it. In plain English, thinner oil wears out faster. Section 6. The Hidden Heat Zone That Destroys Thin Oils Here's what automakers don't tell you. Inside every modern engine, there's a hidden heat zone. It's the area between the piston rings and cylinder walls, where temperatures can spike above 500 degrees Fahrenheit, especially in direct injection and turbocharged engines. Now, Zero W20 oil starts to lose film strength around 450 degrees Fahrenheit, according to ASTM D4683 testing. Once that happens, microscopic metal contact begins, and wear accelerates exponentially. In the 50-engine study, teardown photos showed the difference clearly. Zero W20 engines had visible piston scuffing and dark varnish near the ring lens. 5W30 engines stayed cleaner, with intact oil films even after extended high-load tests. The reason? Film thickness. At operating temp, 5W30 forms a protective layer roughly 35% thicker than Zero W20. That may not sound like much, but inside your engine, that micrometer of extra oil can mean the difference between smooth operation and metal grinding. And here's where it gets really interesting. In hybrid vehicles, which often shut off and restart dozens of times during a commute, Zero W20 oils struggle even more. Each restart means fresh metal contact until oil pressure builds again. That's why Toyota quietly recommends switching to 5W30 in hybrid models once they reach 100,000 miles, even though the owner's manual still says 0W20. Section 7. Oil Consumption and Timing Chain Wear If you've noticed your car burning oil, especially between oil changes, you're not imagining it. Modern engines running 0W20 often show higher oil volatility, meaning the oil evaporates under heat and pressure. In fact, tests from Jasso M366 showed that 0W20 oils can lose up to 13% of their mass in 10 hours at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, while 5W30 loses only 6 to 7%. That vapor doesn't just disappear, it goes into your PCV system, coating your intake valves with carbon and clogging your catalytic converter. Worse, Thin oils also increase timing chain wear. A 2020 Nissan Technical Bulletin, NTB 20-039, documented that long-term use of 0W20 in turbocharged engines led to chain elongation up to 2.5 millimeters beyond spec, causing timing misalignment and rough idle. Switching to 5W30 immediately slowed the wear rate, proving thicker oil maintained proper hydraulic tensioner pressure. So if your engine ticks at startup, or you hear a faint metallic rattle, it's not old age. It might just be oil that's too thin for the job. Section 8. Turbo Engines and Extreme Heat Turbocharged engines are oil torture chambers. Your turbo spins at over 150,000 RPM and is cooled primarily by, you guessed it, oil. That oil must resist both heat and oxidation while maintaining film strength under extreme pressure. Zero W20 can handle mild turbo use, but in hot climates or during long highway drives, it often shears into 16 or 18 weight within 3,000 miles. Once viscosity drops that low, 
Oil can't cushion the turbo bearings properly, leading to coking, oil starvation, and bearing seizure. Ask any Subaru WRX or Ford EcoBoost owner who used 0W20. They'll tell you horror stories. Meanwhile, 5W30 synthetic oils, especially full synthetics with Group 4 or 5 base stocks, maintain their viscosity up to 480 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why companies like Garrett and BorgWarner, the world's top turbo manufacturers, recommend a minimum of 30 weight oil for turbo longevity. Section 9. The Secret Middle Ground Oil Used by Engineers Here's the twist most drivers never hear about. There's a middle ground between 0W20 and 5W30 that many engineers secretly prefer for longevity testing. 0W30 0W30 combines the cold start benefits of 0W20 with the high temperature stability of 5W30. According to a 2019 study from Lubrizol's wear control division, engines running 0W30 had 29% less wear than 0W20. Only a 0.3 miles per gallon penalty compared to 0W20 and virtually identical startup flow characteristics. Many European automakers, Audi, BMW, Volvo, use 0W30 as the default in both turbo and non-turbo engines. If you live in a region with cold winters but still drive hard or tow occasionally, 0W30 synthetic might be the perfect compromise. Section 10. How to choose the right oil for your car. Choosing the correct viscosity isn't just about reading your cap. It's about understanding your driving conditions. Here's a proven checklist used by professional mechanics and engineers. Check your owner's manual for range, not just one number. Many manuals say 0W20 recommended, but also list 5W30 acceptable for high load or high temperature. Match your oil to your climate. Below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, 0W20 or 0W30. Between 20 degrees Fahrenheit and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 5W30 above 90 degrees Fahrenheit or frequent towing, 10W30 or 5W40 synthetic. Look for certifications. Always pick oils labeled APISP, ILSACGF6, or ACEAA5-B5 for modern engines. Use full synthetic for long intervals. Full synthetics maintain viscosity and resist breakdown far better than blends. Critical for modern engines with small oil passages. Avoid high mileage oil unless your car leaks or burns oil. These contain seal swell additives that can soften gaskets unnecessarily in healthy engines. Final takeaway, the truth automakers won't say. 0W20 is great for efficiency. 5W30 is great for longevity. Manufacturers recommend 0W20 because it helps them meet government fuel economy targets, not because it's best for your engine. If you drive in moderate to hot climates, tow, drive hard, or plan to keep your car past 150,000 miles, move up to 5W30 full synthetic. Your engine will thank you with less noise, less oil burn, and years of extra life. Now, I want to hear from you. What oil are you using right now? And have you ever tried switching between 0W20 and 5W30? Did you notice a difference in noise, smoothness, or oil consumption? Drop your experience in the comments, because your story might help another driver save their engine. And if you found this helpful, don't miss the next video. Stop warming up your engine like this, the hidden habit that costs you thousands. Because next, we'll expose a common winter startup mistake that destroys piston rings faster than bad oil ever could. Hit like, share, and subscribe. And remember, your car doesn't care about marketing. It cares about molecules and maintenance.